In this video, we're going to have a look at the perimeter and area of a parallelogram. A parallelogram is a quadrilateral with both pairs of opposite sides parallel and equal. And just like with any other polygon, you can determine the perimeter of a parallelogram by getting the sum of all the sides. Now let's have a look at how we can determine the area of a parallelogram. Here we have a parallelogram with the measurements base and perpendicular height. If I now go and cut off a right angled triangle and move this triangle to the other side of the parallelogram, you will see that it forms a perfect rectangle. This means that the parallelogram and rectangle have the same area. For a rectangle, we know that the area is calculated by saying length times breadth. And now it is important to see that the measurement that coincides with the length of the rectangle is the perpendicular height of the parallelogram and not the length of the side. So for the parallelogram, the area is base times perpendicular height. Example 1. Calculate the perimeter and area of the given parallelogram. Starting with the perimeter of this parallelogram, I know that perimeter is the sum of all the sides. So here we have a side of 12 millimeters, another one of 20, a second 12 and a second 20 because we know that the opposite sides of a parallelogram are equal. The perimeter will now be 64 millimeters. For the area of the shape, we now know the formula is base times perpendicular height. In this case, we can use the base of 20. And now it's important to remember that the height is not the side of 12, but the perpendicular height of 10. So the area will be 200 millimeters squared. Example two, calculate the perimeter and area of the given parallelogram. If we immediately start with the perimeter, we know that we have two sides of 20 centimeters each, but the horizontal side lengths are not known. So you need to see that you can use the theorem of Pythagoras in this right angled triangle to determine the length of the hypotenuse. And this is what we start off with. To get the hypotenuse, we add the sum of the squares of the other two sides, and that will give 169. So our hypotenuse will then be 13 centimeters. And now we can calculate our perimeter. For the perimeter, we have two sides of 20 centimeters and two sides of 13 centimeters. So that will give us 66 centimeters. For the area of this parallelogram, we will have the base multiplied by the perpendicular height. In this case, the base will be 20 centimeters and the height is 12 centimeters. So the area will be a total of 240 centimeters squared. In the next video, we're going to have a look at how to determine the area of a trapezium.